Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Samsung has finally released the final build of Android 7.0 Nougat for the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge in the UK. This is the official version of Android 7.0. I was notified by the Samsung members app. Let me just show you that notice. There you go, Android 7.0 Nougat official software version distribution announcement. Now this is exclusively released first for the beta software users. I'm lucky to be one of them. They haven't mentioned any software changes, but let's go download and install it. Let me go to the settings, software update. Let me check for an update. There's the final update. It's around 208 MB and the phone's downloading it. I think it's a very small update, no major changes compared to beta 5, but it's completely different from Marshmallow. In this video, I'll show you all the changes by comparing it with beta 1. I was on beta 5 before this. The update has been downloaded. Let's see what's new in this update. Android 7.0 Nougat, a whole new user experience and various performance modes, new notification panel, improved multi-window usability, new settings and AOD features. Looks like nothing has changed from beta 5. It's automatically installing the update. Okay, now this will take some time, so sit back and relax. It'll take around 10 to 15 minutes for the update. So I'll be right back once it has been installed. Okay guys, I'm back, the update has been installed. It took around 15 minutes for the installation and boot up. So let's see if anything has been changed in this update. Let's check out the notification panel. Oh, it's still installing the update. I don't think anything has changed in the notification panel compared to beta 5. Let's first go to settings and check out the software version. The final Nougat build comes with 7.0 version and not 7.1.1. Maybe they'll release that sometime later. Here's the Android and Easter egg. Okay, now let's do a quick performance test and see how Android and runs on our S7. We're gonna start with these basic apps and see if there is any lag. Wow, the phone feels very snappy. It's running at 60 FPS all the time. I can barely see any lag. Even the new launcher seems to be very fast. That's really nice. I really like this new launcher. Let's check out the notification panel. This is a new Android N notification panel and these are the quick settings. It has been redesigned a little bit. It was initially blue in beta 1. They've changed it to white. You can even edit or change the button layout over here. You got three modes. Personally, I prefer the 4x3 one. It looks kind of clean. You can also enable or disable the brightness level here in the notification panel. This is a new performance mode. Currently it's set to high performance. So that was a new notification panel. Now let's check out the settings. It looks the same as in beta 1. But one thing they've added are these slide in and out animations throughout the apps and I really like it. This is a device management, previously it was called the smart manager. Even it looks the same as in beta 1. Okay, let's check out the performance modes. The only thing they changed here is they've renamed the normal mode to optimized and the rest is the same. Let's open the camera and see if anything is new. This is a new camera app from the Note 7. You've got a new layout over here. Let's go to the settings. The raw files option has been shifted over here. The remaining settings look the same. You've got new Note 7 gestures also. Swiping left brings the camera modes. Swiping right brings the filters. And swiping up brings the front camera. Okay, the overall UI seems to be very smooth. Let's run a quick Anto to benchmark and see if there is any performance improvement. This is the benchmark score on the beta 5. Now let's do a fresh one and see how much we get. I was really shocked to see this guys. I ran the benchmark test twice and I got around 116,000. A major drop in the score. It was better on beta 5. There is seriously something wrong with either the update or with Antutu. This is not what I expect from the final Nougat update after testing that many betas. You better fix this as soon as possible Samsung. I'll later try to do a factory reset and see if it helps. I'll keep you guys updated in the comment section down below. This update is currently released in UK and I think it will be released in India before the end of January. You can watch this video over here for in-depth installation tutorial of the Nougat beta on S7 and all the changes compared to Marshmallow. So that was it for today guys. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you 
in the next one.